obsessed with this skirt. It is stunning, but this is the problem. Like, I can't get it to zip up. and this is a vintage splendor. Today I'm taking you to two of my favorite vintage stores in the desert area. I come out to Palm Springs area all the time. Thank you to my in-laws for retiring out here. And I have to say the thrifting and vintage shopping in Palm Springs and the desert area is some of the best. If you're looking for Hollywood Regency, mid-century modern, and just the glam of pieces from the 50s to the 80s, this is the spot for you. If you're looking for my favorite thrifting spots, go a few episodes back. Today we are focusing on vintage. I'm taking you to two stores that are a shopping experience. This is where I like to come to look at beautiful pieces and just enjoy the art of vintage. Let's get started. The first store we're going to is the Fine Art of Design in Palm Desert. If the name doesn't give it away, every piece here is so special and so beautiful. If you're looking for a highly curated vintage shop that like speaks to that Palm Springs aesthetic and allure without costing a lot of money, this is the spot. So let's go in and see what we can find. is very very curated and if you love that palm springs vibe this is where you're going to find all of that vintage glamour and the pricing is really really great for the level of curation and also the brands you could find here i love this dress look at that print it's a maxi dress comes with a belt so what is it it's a leg, which is comfortable 85 dollars this is what i mean i feel like for something that is curated really really great selection beautiful designer pieces the pricing is really great so i think i'm going to try this one on i love this jumpsuit look at the print the wide leg this is really stunning Okay, look at the prints and the color on this set. I love a good set. Okay, this one I'm gonna have to try on as well. This is so pretty. Um, let's see what the brand is. And there's so many times I don't even know the brand and, but I just can tell by the print, the textile, the quality, the craftsmanship that it is a special piece. This is a stunning layering piece. Look at that. It's pink and gold. It's really beautiful. Okay, check out this beautiful dark blue shirling coat with a fall fur collar. That is stunning. This skirt is fab. It's a maxi skirt and it has this wrap look aesthetic right in front of it. I think I'm gonna try this on $45. That's actually a pretty good price, I think, for a curated vintage shop. Some of my favorite vintage tops are actually from here. I feel like they always have a really good selection of vintage and just really great timeless tops that I reach for on the regular. Like this is a really fun mock neck turtleneck. This is such a fun sequin jacket. Look at the pearl trim. This is really great. 125, it's actually not terrible for what it is. I think I'm gonna try that on. It's really good. Looking in the super sale section, 50% off and 75% off. And then this caught my eye right away. Vintage St. John. I know it's St. John A because of the Santana knit. B, look at the stick on sequins. They're absolutely stunning. And this is a signature St. John technique that they use 
two embellished pieces. Look at that, it's so pretty. So you know I love a good thrift session and to go through all the rags and the piles, but I also love to squeeze in a really curated shopping experience like this because then every piece that I'm looking at and like can really soak in all of the special touches that make it a piece of like fine craftsmanship and vintage hence why this store is called the fine art of design so that's why i love about this store is i know every piece has a special story and history even if it may not be something that i love like soak in the labels the textures just some of the silhouettes so then i know if i'm going to go on ebay or i'm going to go to the thrift store it like really helps me hone in on specific styles and brands i want to add to my list one of my tips is don't shop seasonally because look at this. I've been looking for a wool cardigan like this. It's 175, but because we are headed into spring, it's been marked down 75% off. I'm gonna try this on and see how it looks. I just spotted this Versace skirt and it is so great it is nylon and i would say the print is not a traditional versace print but it just works and what i love about this store is even if the pieces are a bit more modern or the brand may not be what you would immediately imagine as palm springs vibe like the print is and everything is just very true to that palm springs aesthetic look at this print and this lattice detailing and it's a jumpsuit omg this is so my vibe This is a fabulous vintage St. John evening collection top. I mean, take a look at this. It's their traditional Santana net with a beautiful silk poof sleeves. I'm gonna try this on and see what the vibe is when I'm wearing it. Now I like can spot vintage St. John anywhere now. I don't like love this. I don't think this is the vibe or the aesthetic I'm going for for them. I'm looking for more like fresh on trend pieces. Oh, what is this? Let's see. What is this? And this is like an interesting vest top. Carolina Herrera. $45. 50% off. May I try this on? another St. John piece. So I do love their dresses. I think some of them are really fun, but I'm definitely wanting something from their 90s era because those pieces are so hot with a capital H-O-T. Just to give you an idea of some of the pieces that I did pass on, like I feel like this one is a little too matronly. And then although I love the color and print on this jacket, just don't think it's the vibe. This is such a great knit with sequins all over. This would be really fun with some like wide leg polyester pants. the Chanel section here and you know really simple basics I have to say let's say if you are looking for classic Chanel knits or jackets look at St. John because you're gonna get very similar vibe for like a tenth of the price beaded 
pearled, embellished, amazing long jacket is Oleg Cassini, which specializes in beautiful evening wear like this. I like that this gives it a little bit more of a casual feel. The length and the fact that it's an open style. Most of my sequin and beaded pieces are cropped jackets. I like that I could wear this with, you guessed it, jeans and a t-shirt. I just think this is stunning. I had high hopes for this just because it is in my budget for a piece like this, but it's just way too big. But like I'm good with something a little bit bigger that's a men's size, but I just think this will not get worn because it's just way too big. Even if I were to try and belt it, it's a little too droopy in the shoulder for me, even though I like it a lot. I like the colors too. I really like this. I love that there's this cutout. I just don't think it fits right. It might be because I am wearing a strapless bra and we know those are never flattering but I think it also might be a little too snug and it's a size 10. This goes to show you try things on because you never know because I'm typically a size zero but I just don't think it fits right. It's a little too tight and this part is bunching but I love this cutout detail so much. I like this St. John blouse. This is from their evening collection. I love this like subtle print and it has some structure in the shoulders. So the sleeves have that really fun balloon feel. So as I'm shopping for St. John, I am keeping in mind a shopper like me, somebody who's very fashion forward, who's into vintage, but wants things to feel really on trend and unique. And I think she would style this up how I would, which is with jeans and some boots and then maybe a belt or, you know, think of it with like some wool trousers, some loafers for like an updated office look. This jumpsuit is like the perfect length on me because I can wear it with flats, which I absolutely love. Um, love the print. It's really comfy, really great for summer. This looks really cute on when I'm on my tippy toes as if I were wearing some heels because I think as soon as I just like stand, obviously I would need to get these hemmed, but I just don't know if they're as cute. Let me fold them and we can decide together if this is a cute set. I do love this as a little summer suit. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a little annoying about like, oh, it looks better if I wear it with heels, but I'm more of a flats girl these days. And I love sets because I can style them up together and separately. And I think the pants I would probably wear a lot. I just think because this is a longer tunic style, I would have to wear with like short shorts, maybe some other pants, but I don't know. I love this. I love the idea of it. Um, I am obsessed with this skirt. It is stunning, but this is the problem. Like, I can't get it to zip up, so I don't know who the skirt was made for. Obviously not for me. I feel like in theory, it was made for me, and it's so stunning. Oh, it's just not gonna work. I got the sequin blazer. I just think I'm gonna wear it so much. And you know, I think it's okay to sometimes niche down on your style. And yes, a denim t-shirt and sequin jacket look is totally my vibe. And I'm okay with it. I feel like I could even wear this with some chic trousers or over a slip dress for an evening look. I am so excited to take you to my favorite vintage store for home decor and furnishings. Fine Art of Design is where I go for fashion and accessories, spaces, and cathedral cities where I go to for all of that good stuff for the house.
This is Culver Valencia glass and I actually have this set right here. It's absolutely stunning. This is all 24 karat gold detailing. It's so stunning. This is one of those amazing stores where I have to do multiple laps around the store and then also like really look everywhere in every nook and cranny for all of the gems. So one of my friends actually collects the surf ballet collection, this beautiful bowl. Look at that color and look at this. It's like a pink marble look with a little bit of chrome in there. This store has the best lighting options, whether you're looking for floor lamps, table lamps, or chandeliers. There's always something amazing either hanging or sitting waiting for you to discover. So the glassware here is also like so beautiful. You can find anything you want from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, whether they're juice glasses, cocktail glasses, you name it, they have it. Something else that they have a lot of, which I absolutely love collecting, is vintage Murano or vintage Italian glassware. So even though some of the styles can be a little bit traditional, like that base, adding it into a very contemporary or modern or even I would say very aesthetically different home just adds that layer of style that I think every space needs. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna start lap two in here. As I mentioned, I always go around once, just soak in everything, and then I go a second and third time just to see if there's anything I missed. There's always things that I missed the first and second time. So this space, I'm usually here about two hours. I have been shopping here for about 10 years. And a lot of the pieces that I have bought at vintage shops from the desert are actually from here. Their prices have gone up over the last few years, but I mean, everybody's prices have gone up. I still think for a piece of Palm Springs aesthetic that you want, you can get it here and not pay a ton of money. So there's artwork everywhere here. And I have to say they are one of the stores that has such an incredible selection of contemporary and vintage art that you will want to buy. If you're coming to the desert area and you want to take a little slice of Palm Springs or that aesthetic home with you, I would recommend coming here and either getting some really fabulous glassware or some sort of like a vintage catch-all ashtray that you can use for other purposes um, or some artwork if you're able to ship it back like this is the spot that you are going to find all of that stuff i can't believe i didn't see all of this artwork earlier i absolutely love it i love this large piece i love that piece and that one I'm actually looking for artwork for that space between our living and dining room and even though i have that large mirror there i'm looking for pieces to put around it just to fill in that space all this color does not make you happy. I don't know what will. Okay, perfect example of a small like catch-all dish that screams Palm Springs. Some of the glassware. And something that I didn't mention that I really love to suck up on are ice buckets. This is another Culver set. This is a little martini set. I actually have a couple of these in a different style but as i mentioned if you want a specific type of glassware you will find it here this is a pretty great bowl look at this display bowl that is really fabulous 
Here's a perfect example of a vintage ashtray. I love them because they're beautiful, they're unique, and they're really practical. So you could use this as a catch-all, somewhere to throw your keys or matchboxes. It's just a good statement piece to also have on a console or a coffee table just to contain things, but also just be like a statement piece to anchor the room and just the furniture. up here because there's so much great artwork up above as well as lighting this is a great little bowl i would love this in the kitchen to put some fruit um, obviously above my price range but i come here to get inspiration for my thrifting ebay and estate sales horrible lighting in here but i love that piece for the space between our living and dining room um it's really beautiful colors but it's above my budget it's about 600 i love these lotus flower lamps so this front one is kind of like a smoky blue and then the one behind it is pink stunning <music> Look at these amazing chrome rattan newly reupholstered dining chairs. These are attributed to Pierre Cardin. The set is $9.85, which is not terrible for something of this quality and design pedigree. So it'd be so great, like a sun deck. This is such an interesting shape. I like them obviously for practical purposes for ice, but I also use them for parties if I want to put a little bit of champagne in there. But I've also used it for fried chicken. Like let's say you have a ton of people over, you get some fried chicken, throw it in an ice bucket. It's much chicer than any other type of bucket. I found these two smaller scale artworks. And funny thing is they were not for sale, but I kindly asked the owner if he would make me a deal on these because I love how small they are. They're a little bit more traditional than what I have at home, but I think they're perfect. This is just another cool one that he has. Look at how pretty that is, but these are the two that I am going to bring home. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of just two of my favorite stores in the desert area. I am thinking we are due for another episode in the next couple of months because there are just so many vintage stores in the Palm Springs and desert area. Let me know if you want another video. Also, be sure to drop in your style requests in the comments below. I'm going to be styling up your requests in just a couple of weeks, so don't forget to share them with me. Thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next Friday at 8 a.m.